I did it. I did a less stupid this time, as it turns out. And I got through it without uh, obliterating myself. In fact, I'm actually relatively healthy. Although, I did have to retry again. Because uh, I did a really stupid. Which is that uh, I falsely assumed that there was like a pattern to the, uh, the tornado. Nope. <laughs> Uh, the first time I did the tornado, it went over there and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, so I can just do whatever I want, right? Second time, the tornado went straight through my entire territory, which, uh, is really important to notice, and I didn't think that it was gonna change, but it super changed, and I'm like, oh. Uh, restart? <laughs> I'd join it, but I don't want to be used as a curling stone. You join it? Join it's a weird term. There's nobody there. I, I, I know curling stone, because yeah, he, uh, Beeple looks exactly like a curling stone, pretty much, except for the rabbit ear part, but that's new. So that makes sense. But, is there somebody, is there supposed to be somebody there? I feel like there's supposed to be rabbits on the ice or something. Oh. Can you tell you're gonna use that cannon at some point? <laughs> Oh, right. And there's not a red under it either, so I can't push forward till I get rid of red. Okie dokie. Ooh, mushroom. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna loop right back around anyway. Now I take the cannon up. And then we get our mushroom. There we go. The mushroom would have pretty much fixed my health problem regardless, but it would not have fixed the part where I screwed up the star rating, and who wants to screw that up? Later in the game it might get harder and become more reasonable for me to screw up the, uh, perfect score of each level, but... That, that, that was a bad time to, to start. Well, you look crowded. Defeat all. So it's no no longer a matter of getting placed from point A to point B or anything. So they're going to be moving in. Using Rabid Luigi's multi-dash could do tons of damage to these guys. In fact, yeah, right now it does 80 damage, so these guys crowded around are at risk of being obliterated. Is it just them? Looks like it's just these three dudes. And then you, hanging out down here. And you can't reach this pipe, you can only reach that one. Which might be enough exit range to reach us, but I'm not really sure. Does it say? Oops. That's not the uh, other mode. I should see though, can I upgrade? No, I can't. There's no way. You only have 15. But how much can I upgrade the... Yep. Dash damage. Take it all the way up to 110. Only 30 more. Oh, I can make him so brutally powerful. It's scary. It's genuinely scary. Let's see. With three of them crowded together like this, I almost wonder if I should use, uh... Rabbit Mario, but his cone attack won't really matter if they're all blocking that direction. So it'd be great to group them up into a singular attack, but it doesn't really help if I can't get past their shields. Makes you wonder then if I should be using Luigi, but Luigi can use the... Luigi has super long range, can double jump so he can get... he can flank people quickly. And he also has the ability to, uh... Unleash that car on people, which does a lot of damage. Mario can't be swapped out. Rabbit Luigi can dash straight past people's shields and just hit them with melee, doing a lot of damage, and also can use immunity to super effects, making him impossible to get honeyed, so he can't, so he gets stopped. Uh, and then, in addition to that, everybody has cleansing jump, so they can all stop, they can all free each other one by one. So that's good too. Okay. This is what I meant to do in the first place. So, top priority is stay out of this dude's range, if I can. Or just start obliterating him first. Also an option, I suppose. How many people are in your movement range? Just the one? So right now, the, the multi-dash is going to be a little bit wasted. But he can't reach Luigi, so maybe Luigi should just shoot him. And enjoy the, uh... The punishment. 
can't hit you with the vehicle. The vehicle does a lot of damage, though. So I could lure him up here. Could even try Steely Stare. Oops, no. There we go. Could you shoot him twice before he even gets there, and how much would that increase his movement range to then get us in trouble? Let's see. Oh, it won't matter. It's pipe exit range, so if, if, if Luigi gets his two shots out of the way before he exits the pipe, then it won't matter uh, at all what order, th the order of things happening. Okay, so we could do a lot of damage then. Especially if I do one of these. This could be fun. Hey, you. Run up this pipe. Oh, wow, a critical right off the bat? That, uh, kind of devastates him, actually. I wasn't really accounting for that. Come on. Wow, another crit. My uh, follow-up plan was that he, uh, when he got up here, Rabbit Luigi was going to dash him and do 80 damage, which is a pretty surefire kill at that point. Didn't even happen that way, though, because super destroyed. Take those coins. Okay, well, that was effective. Damn. Like, unexpectedly effective. If I dash you... I can dash you and then take cover. Getting you out of line of sight. Then you can also dash him. And get to Luigi. And then, ow. Oh. I meant for a more effective, whoops. I kind of meant to land behind cover over there. Uh, I mean, I meant, I meant to be able to throw, uh, throw him just so he can stomp somebody. Let's see. Itchy Feet's not gonna let him reach anybody, unfortunately. But we can dash you and then land behind cover over here. The cover being slightly less important than just spreading the characters out to hopefully reduce the chance of getting hit by the same attacks. Mario can also dash him and jump off of you, hit you, land behind you, really confusing everybody by having our characters really spaced out. Those first two are a little close together, but that's, that was kind of a fluke. Hello! Not doing so great. Weird how they use the same sound for him putting away his hammer that they use for defeating enemies. When you have a defeat enemies sound, you'd kind of figure they wouldn't want to reuse that anywhere else. Let's see, they all have honey guns, right? Oops. I mean, they might freeze you. Can I affect all of them with the reduced damage guns? I, oh yeah, I can. That's the go-to response then. Because we can always cleanse each other with a cleansing jump, so it's not a big deal to use the invincibility thing, but if I can reduce incoming damage, we're good. Wow. The crits I'm getting. Well, that's half of them down in one turn. I think defeat all might... I'm not really sure, but I think defeat all might scale up if you... if uh. Wow, he, he actually defeated his last ally for me. Strange choice there. Okay. I have sustained minimal damage on my vamping character of all people, who will now just restore that damage. So, hooray. Gonna get to you, then jump to Mario, to cleanse Mario, to then... Where can I land? Just anywhere? I'm just gonna land here and flank him then. Hello! Mario, you're good now. And shoot. Wow, another vampire. We're gonna end this fight with more health than I started with, so we should use vampire 
We'll use, uh, yeah, we'll use Mario because he's ha he should have vamp applied to him, so that'll heal Mario. Although the chapter might be ending right now, so I guess it doesn't matter. Was that supposed to be that easy? Huh. I feel like I've never crushed a level quite as much as that one. That was weird. Like, it didn't even stand a chance. But it says two out of four, so they must have expected it to be quick regardless. Huh. All right. Oops. I'm tempted to respec. Would I want to respec Rabbit Luigi and make his dash even more powerful? Because it's very tempting. 110 is so high. I'd have to get a spare 40 out of somewhere, though. Team jump is a reasonable thing that I might remove for the sake of just making dash more powerful. And this is... Oh yeah, this is the... Uh, oh no, I don't have that yet. That's, 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 that color means I, that I can just buy it if I want to. I guess pipe exit range? The biggest thing I could refund is movement range bonus, which I don't really want to. And then that'd be, that'd be crossed with team... Nah. Ultimately, I should just save up until I get to 70. Unless there's something I really want first. High ground isn't really his thing. I mean, it's nice, but I'm I'm mostly specking him to just hit people a lot and not and rely less on his weapons. So I should save up for that. Body parry, weapon parry, increasing damage reduction of his shield would be nice. But yeah, so it's, it's going to be all about making his dashes as as powerful as possible, and then increasing his range so that he can then be more likely to hit people with the dashes. All right, I'll keep saving up. Oh my god, more jump range for Luigi. More high ground bonus. There are good things to do to Luigi. Unfortunately, the itchy feet... Yeah, being more powerful is nightmarishly expensive. Team jump range. Let's go for the high ground bonus. Cap that out. There you go, Luigi. Now it's nightmare... How high is it now, overall, percentage-wise? 150. Damn. Rabbit Mario, you're a weird one. You're gonna, have to, gonna need a little practice just figuring out what to do with you to some extent. Because I've, I've used you in one fight so far. Team jump range is kind of fine. I think I want to save up some dashes, though. So let's save up for the uh, damage dealt. Each. Increased heal range is pretty good. Making that significantly more effective as a skill. And then Mario has 50 points to spend. I don't think I need Mushroom Mend yet. I think we're getting by without it. Increased range for the M power would be good. I was save right, I'm saving up for double hero sight. Because that's terrifying, because he has a really powerful He doesn't get a reduced damage for his his uh hero sight damage. Or he does, but not as much. So I'm gonna save up for the multi-hero sight. Are we doing a boss fight next? I think that was just world... Wasn't that just uh, level 9? I think bo the boss fight was next na last time. Okay, that made a bloop sound. Okay. So one of them has to be there. One of them has to be right here. Okay. And one of them has to be right there. Sound effects, main things. That's what a weird puzzle. <laughs> the other puzzles are so straightforward and like brutally obvious that it's actually like almost weird to have like a witness level of like abstract puzzle there. Whoa, that's what I needed. I always forget which menu option I'm pressing. Nope. Mario, guess what you get? Just in time for the boss fight, I think. Multi hero sight. 
Uh, you were in this process of saving for something, right? We could do vamp damage, but I kind of want to do dash damage. Because this just means more healing, but his healing's already effective so far, being 40%. So definitely saving, which is a, t a tall order. You get to do dash damage. Boom. 50 damage now, which also explodes. You dangerous to all your party members, you are. I think I'll back out now. Well, alrighty then. Always happy to get reward in the form of orb. That goes down to right there, which I can... Oh yeah, I can go around and get there. There's actually nowhere else to go. It is, uh... Soundtrack. Hooray! Ah? Uh, gray rabbit button. Oh, there it is. Okay, so usually it's easier to just solve these backwards, so to get here, it'd have to come in from here. How would it? Wait. No, not here. Here. It has to hit here. It has to collide. Which means it has to come from this direction. So it'd have to come from- it'd probably have to hit here then. That's easy enough, except for the- oh, I can't push it that way, can I? No. So it probably collides here, then goes left and in. And to collide here, it'd have to come from this way. Which means it has to hit here. But to hit here, it has to come from that way. That's where things get a little less likely. I can't push it the correct direction to make it do that. So my whole methodology could be wrong. I mean, right now there's only one direction I can push it in, right? Yeah, so I guess we have to do it this way. And solve from there. If we push it that way, it's just gonna get stuck and have to be pushed back out the way it came from, so it has to go this way. Just gonna start acting. Well, that's not entirely encouraging. If I push it back around here and go this way, it's just going to get stuck in the same loop I was just in. So let's see how this pans out. It goes this way, it still goes that way, round and gets stuck again. Is this useful? No, we're pretty much just looping now. Crap. Like, if it's down here, I'm screwed, right? Unless I go this way. It might be use- Oh, yeah. That's where I was hoping it would go. I was thinking of all the wrong parts. Okay. I wonder if there's any kids that get stuck on those puzzles, because it would- <laughs> That'd be a hell of an awkward dead end for your playthrough if you're like- as a, If you're like, can't figure out sliding block puzzles as a kid. And so like, your rabid playthrough just ends. That said, XCOM style gameplay probably is a bit more demanding enough that you'd probably- If you're doing that stuff at all, then you're probably already able to deal with sliding block puzzles, I guess. Wow. They tease me with those power orbs. I'm like, oh, now I can get the upgrade I wanted. Nope, it's only five. Wow. What is happening here? Okay. This is actually interesting. It's parallel sliding block puzzles. So my goal is to get here, and so that means that uh, the final step has to be that the other one is on the blue, so that I can get to this red. But the fact that there's a green at all means I'm probably gonna have to use green first, right? Otherwise it'd be like, why does green exist here? So then the other they have you solving parallel sliding block puzzles. Crap.
I see it. Alright, so that rises, raises the green. What, we go like this way, for example, then... That'll just hit nothing if I go that way around. We could loop around, potentially. Still doesn't lead me to the right spot. If I, ra if I switch to blue, I could hit blue here, but then, yeah. then what? No. This is weird because in, in essentially every block is optional, which is weird to think about. Because I can just change the block type whenever I want to. So I can choose to either stop at a block or I can just walk right over it when I'm planning my path. Alright, so first of all, in order to do this, it has to hit, come from... So it has to hit a blue either this way or that way. Like, this way or that way to collide against the blue so it's in the central column and then I can push it through. Which means that we'll have to already have blue selected then switch to green again. Okay. So if I want to come from here, that involved me being there. It'd be hard. I'm not sure how I would stop here though. Otherwise I can come from this direction, which would work if I go down and hit this blue. Which, but if I hit this blue by going down here, I'd have to, like, slide to the side of this green, probably? Maybe by hitting this blue from the, from above? No. Ah! Go from this green to this green, hit this blue. Then go to this side of the green. And what was my plan at that point? Blue, blue, in. Okay, I think that works. Hopefully I don't misremember where I was with this. Yeah, go to this green. And now we switch to blue. If I hit you... Then I need to hit the green, don't I? Yeah. Okay, so... Hit that. Now switch back to green. Um... Oh my god, I keep looking at Mario when I'm walking around and I'm like, Why isn't this doing it correctly? And I'm like, oh right, I'm... I'm bleepo. Bloopy, bleep, bleepy bloop. Now we switch to blue for two more moves. Don't mess it up. Don't lose track of where we are. Or this goes very poorly. And finish line! Oh, I didn't need to resolve it, I just need to get it off the button. And we were, we were golden. Open! Progress saved! Wow. That was a mandatory puzzle. I think, yeah. Yeah, there's no side paths around here. What are the challenges going to be like in this area? I can't tell if that's the same rabbit or two neighbors trying to avoid each other. What's happening? I feel like there's supposed to be rabbits in this game right now, and there aren't. Like something's glitched or something? Uh-oh. Uh... <laughs> Icicle Golem, effective icebreaker!
Well, how's that timing for Peach to show up? So I'm gonna play a new character during a boss fight, huh? Oh, you took out Luigi. I guess I don't have a say in that one, huh? I wonder how they choose. Oh yeah, it has to be Mario and a rabbit, so I guess if you have Luigi or any other rabbit, then they're gonna, then that's how they can choose. So it has 500 health, it still has the portable cover, which means I can only attack it by flanking it, so we just need to spread out. It has a freeze rocket. Whatever wideout is, is that a ram attack? It's probably its unique move, like how the other one had the uh, dash. Is there going to be a tornado around here? I don't see a weather vane, so I don't think there is a tornado in this one. Where do these connect to? Oh, there's just like slight progress makers around these corners. That one's a bit more substantial. Okay, so ultimately my party needs to spread out. And I don't know if dashing is a valid way of fighting him, but I hope it is because one of my characters specializes in that and they kick the other one out. And that's unfortunate. Maybe I shouldn't spe maybe I shouldn't try though. Especially since he can't he can't multi-dash the same target and getting too close to him might be bad news. So Let's see. No. Oh. I was going to try to Oh. Well, I was going to try to go to the battle HQ and swap out my characters, but I guess I can't. I didn't already press A, did I? I, I think it just didn't give me the chance. Let's see, we could... We could use M-Power. The problem is that everybody has to try to flank him, pretty much. Let's see, you can do a, a rocket attack. How do you work, exactly? You got the Duckus? What? Oh, it's a grenade duck, right. So she's a, she's like the support characters. Got a royal gaze, does 72 to 50 Tady damage. She got the boom shot. She has cleanse and heal jump. She heals people when she uses the team jump, apparently. She can protect people for 40% damage when they're in range. And she also has royal gaze, so she has the same hum she has the same ability that apparently every human shares. Which is some variation of that. Blue flame, so she seems to have the same overwatch ability that Mario does, down to the percentage and everything. But she has a grenade-based attack as her as her support, and then she has this guy, which is apparently shotgun. Okay. She also has a lot of hit points, so I guess she's she either comes pre-upgraded, or she has just a huge starting pool. Okay, so... For me, the first natural move is try to spread out a little bit. It's a little unfortunate thing, is I have all these nice abilities to help my party out, but I don't want to, uh... I mean, we could do damage reduction at the beginning. This is the one time we're actually grouped together. We're probably gonna want to spread out so that we can, uh... Multi-target. Not multi-target, flank. I'll try using buffs now when we're in a range. You don't really you don't really have one. And then we're gonna probably spread out. To hopefully not get shotguns at the same time constantly. That's the furthest you can move. But if you go here, you might be in range for a stomp. gonna go ahead and get the rocket shot out, out of the way before I, anyone moves closer. The duck has good range, but I need to move first. So, Mar so Luigi, uh, Peach is gonna flank right. And then we're gonna find out whether or not I can stomp this guy or not, because you're gonna move forward first. I go right up in there. Might as well weaken you. What? Oh no, that's not a good sign. Oh, and I went out of Mario's range. Well, that invalidates a lot of what I was trying to do just now. That was a stupid move. I did a stupid move. 
Let's hope this helps then. Oh. That's interesting. He's like specifically focused on Mario? Or that's, oh, that's just the game's reaction to me aiming to, the game's reaction to me pointing a gun at him. As he does that every time, apparently. Well, I might as well shoot him. Just because what else am I going to do? So that... There's 0% chance, or... So this, this can't happen to him, or what? Crap. They said no one was in range, but was it talking? Yeah. Okay. That means I probably wasn't going to be able to jump on him either. So bosses just sort of break a bunch of the mechanics when they show up. That wasn't very nice. Well, now I can learn what, what Freeze does. I, did, I wasn't really sure yet, because... Oh yeah, you can't even... you can't dash him either. Okay. The more you know. Too bad you can't weaken him. I think the game might have said that uh, that uh, supers don't work on bosses though at some point. Ooh, 85 damage. He doesn't have that many hit points, so that's pretty good. Oh, freeze disables your specials. Now I know. Okay. Yeah, the way that it's a block on your head, I assumed it would work like ink, and that it would just stop you from. Uh, I thought it would just stop you from being able to uh, shoot or something. Oh, you heal when you land. Huh. The flankening must commence. Oh, this counts as lower ground, huh? Oh, weird. It was actually... It was probably had more to do with the shotgun attack, I suppose. Oh, wait. We established during the Donkey Kong fight, I think, that you can't actually target people with, uh... You can't target people with the, uh melee attack when they're a boss. Hey, she's been fixed. So does she have an ability she can use? Royal Gaze. Might as well. Hero Sight. Now that we're flanking. And here comes the fun. Is he actually going to die this fast? Or is there a healing trick that's going to happen? No, oh, he got to rotate for free before moving. Come on, take a step. Oh, there we go. I thought that was him rotating his shield and invalidating all my attempts to shoot him this way. But we're good. Second shot. Ah. So he does heal. It says portable cover, but he does not have portable cover right now. It does okay. It doesn't say anything about a pursue attack, so that's probably good news. I briefly thought that because his shield seems to have disappeared that he was going to then respond by turning into a crusher and chasing us when we hit him. But uh I don't see a uh Yeah. I don't see a his shield's gone, but I don't see him become a crusher apparently. I guess I'll know if I shoot him though. It is slightly weird that he, uh, appear- It's slightly weird that it shows him still having, a uh, portable cover on his list of characteristics when he clearly doesn't have a shield anymore. Should I be running away at this point to try to re reduce damage coming my way? Or should everyone just keep firing on him and maybe- I guess we could hide behind these- these pits to stay out of his way. Nope. What's his movement range? Okay, not great. He, he might be able to reach Peach, so maybe Peach should run away. Rabbit Luigi should be safe, I think. Because, yeah, if I hide behind these uh, holes, he probably won't be able to reach me. Yep, immune to everything, including Vamp. Alright, I was trying to pick up the ring, but I can only do that like that. Let's move Peach, and also not take Peach near any of these explosive crates.
All right. Come and get us, dude. I didn't just screw up, did I? Nope. What are you gonna do? Do you still shoot? I think he's gonna try to punch us? No, he's, I think he can still shoot. It said melee 70, so I was worried that he might switch to melee in this mode. Oh! A crusher showed up. Huh. Not entirely expected. I guess I was partially right when I said Crusher. Oh, there's two Crushers. Are, are those the only Crushers? Let's do a scan. I don't want to be caught off guard here. If I can keep at it, we could take him out before it matters that there's Crushers now. Maybe. We just need to be mindful of their attack ranges, I suppose. Right now, Mario's already safe. Unless I can attack diagonally through there. But everybody else is not safe by a fair margin. And also, Mario needs a jump. Because, uh, let's see. We need to cleanse Mario. I would love to also land near Mario, but that's not... Well... I can't do it in... Yeah. He probably can't reach me there. But at that point, I might not as well be just not, not be in cover. In fact, yeah. Let's land right here. I should be in attack range. Except, oh, except she does have a crappy shotgun, of course. I'm not in attack range. I actually blew it. I need to get used to shotguns. They're weird. Speaking of weird, it's really strange not being able to use my melee and stuff like that in the sky. Well, there's a decent chance it'll shoot me, so I should do something like this. Wow. The critting is out of control today. Let's see, we want to be away from the crushers, but also not particularly grouped up. So that we don't get hit by the same explosive from the boss. Hopefully. Oh, don't go in the- don't go in the pipe. Actually, going in the pipe might not be a bad call, but at that point I might as well just be, be over here. In fact, I should probably be over here. Ah, crap. Oh yeah, that's safe. Hi, I'm in the open. <laughs> Am I gonna get shot next? Nope. Yes? No? Yes? Oh yes. We're helping. Uh huh. <laughs> Bless their hearts, they're trying. Okay. I'm just gonna shoot you in the face. Oh. Oh. Oh, you have an overwatch, apparently. I didn't even realize that was an option for you. Embarrassing. Shotgun face. Oh, the fight is still not over. I was kind of counting on it being over. I didn't really plan for this part. So he's got no shield. How does this even work for you now? Do you still have a gun? He still seems, he seems to still have a gun. He looks like he might not be able to move anymore, except he was still moving a second ago. Are you able to hit Peach? No, so at least there's that. I was worried that I left Peach in crusher range. I might have actually, what about, what about you? Okay, so Peach, Peach is safe from the Crushers. I was a little worried about that one. So her, yeah, her turn's over. She can't do anything else. Huh. Still trying to just avoid the Crushers, really. I don't see a reason to engage when I can just shoot this dude a lot, basically. Nothing, not much else to consider. So my two goals are stay away from crushers and also stay away from the ice blocks that will do AoE effects on me and do bad things. This might be in within melee range, I'm not sure. Within melee range would be bad. Let's see, what's my pipe exit range like? Ooh. 
That should keep me safe. Safe and away from... Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. The Crusher could just go through... Ah, goddammit. The Crusher's just gonna go through the pipe after me. That was not a smart move on my part. Alright. Okay, what's up with the critting? It's getting weird. Did, some, did it enable 100% crit chance at some point without me noticing? Admittedly, the Crushers have somewhat caged me in at this point. Yeah, I can hit you for free, so I should. In fact, I should have been dashing with... Ah, I wasn't dashing enough earlier. Whoops. This is actually a little intimidating. What is your movement range like? Good luck. You can go straight to Mario, which means you probably will. And you can also come out these pipes, which... Yeah. Their movement range covers, like, everything. So it's probably a mistake to let them live this long, because they're, uh... Nope. Their movement range has gotten... obscene. I can go here. That would make me safe. Okay. That'll be my goal, then. Oops, did I hit cancel? Oh wait, otherwise I can team jump. Oh, and that gets rid of your negative effect. That's a smarter thing to do. Congrats, Peach, you're safe. I guess I'll just hang out over here now. So I screwed up with Mario, so here comes the bad news there. And freeze was not applied. Yep, here it comes. That was a dumb move. No, stop! Oh, jeez. More than half of his health. Maybe I should start buying those upgrades. Oh, man. That wasn't very nice. What's that? Oh, no, a support? Is he gonna start healing the boss? Because that's not good news for me. I wonder if I should just... Oh, there's two supports. When did they... Sh did they just show up? Crap. I can't hit the boss because I got out of range of that. I have to do something differently if I want to make that happen. No. Could just go over here and shoot the boss again. I would be out of range of the enemy, at least. But the... Uh... The supports are going to be a problem, though. Ah, uh, that reduces my control over the situation a little bit. I am finding myself somewhat torn as to whether or not it is reasonable for me to, uh... Focus fire the boss at this point, or if I'm making a terrible mistake. Damage reduction should probably go that way. Can I get Mario in range without grouping us up? Seems unlikely. Yes, it's unlikely and impossible. Uh, what is your movement range? You can't reach me over here, I think. Your movement range is slightly weird, but yeah, I should be able to- I should be safe here. So out of melee- Ah, oh, I didn't dash him! I'm so focused on just dealing with the boss that I'm not forgetting to dash people. Ooh! I think I already shot with him, though, which is unfortunate. Doing what I can! Yeah, we already shot with you, which is a mistake. Are you in range for that? I should use that then. Two two people are in, in range for reduced damage, and one of them I can actually hit with it. What what damage do you do with dashes? 40. That's okay, I guess. Not altogether impressive. Your movement range is garbage, but I need to stay away from it. You could be a problem. Yeah, I was thinking of going here. Could go here to just sort of pester this guy up close. We'll dash you. Go over here. That'll keep me out of both of their melee ranges. Oh, you can't use hero protection on yourself. Interesting. I thought it would affect me too. 
the, the, going. I should have done it a second ago when I was next to my the, my teammate, though. That was also a mistake. I love re re realizing all my mistakes right after I make them. The great feeling takes me right back to XCOM and and how bad I was at that. Uh, everyone's done, right? Yep. He's almost down, but the can he get can he can he get double healed by supports? He's supposed to be immune to supers, but in specials, I mean. But maybe these allies can use them. What is he doing? Oh, that was probably Overwatch. He probably activated Overwatch. Right, because we established earlier he had that. What? No, he he can get healed by the supports. I guess that might not count as a special, or maybe it doesn't matter because they're on the same team. Ah. And then that, act yeah, the grenades activated the Overwatch, whether I was, whether I wanted him to or not. Please don't heal the boss also. Oh, so they can throw a grenade and heal in the same turn too. So it is a special, right? All right, well, he's healthy again. And I am quite far away from my allies, so they can't, uh... Damn it, I thought this fight was gonna be way shorter. I'm far away from my allies, so I can't really, uh... Get the coin... Uh, sorry, uh... Get the cleanse from them. Although I think both of my abilities were on cooldown. Uh, one of them's the... One of them's the, uh, hero site, which would have been helpful. Other than that, we're fine. You can't do empower right now? Nope. So you should just take the shot at this point. None of my allies are in range, right? Nope. And it should do 100% damage. I just want to dash you. Let me dash you. Why can't I dash you? <laughs> it might be reasonable just to keep hammering them until they go down. They shouldn't be able to spam heals. I think it's a cooldown-based skill, if it's anything like mine. So one of them healed them once. The other one could do them next turn. Uh, but they might just not. Let's see. I'm gonna want to use Super Barrier, because damage can come from a number of directions right now. You ended up in a weird spot. He must have been grenaded. You can hit both of us. We want to run that way, kind of. Can I reach them from here? Ooh. I get to vamp you. Hey, let's hang out right next to you. Increasing the chance that either the boss, either the boss or your other ally will grenade me when I'm next to you, causing you to take the damage too, which would be great. In your case, I want to use hero side against the supports if I can, but there's a very real chance it'll end up, end up mostly just being used against the crushers. I can't reach over there. Whoop, you're hitching. There we go. We could we can't run over there because he'll just reach me again. Nope. Keep mixing those up. There's a lot of area over there that's free from you. So anywhere in this central area will keep Mario safe. That's pretty much his option. Or over there. Yeah, hang out behind that block, but that might be in melee range. I'm gonna avoid hero sight, because I don't think the boss can move right now, and I'd love to catch the specials, but if I don't catch the special, then it's gonna hit the, uh... It's gonna hit the, uh, actual boss instead. I'd love to maximize the chance of them getting hit, but I don't think it's gonna help me. I'd, I'd, I'd like to hit. I'd like to hit the uh, supports, but I don't want Mario to accidentally hit one of the crushers and call draw them in. I think I said specials and boss last time, and I'm like, that's not what I was trying to say at all. Every now and then, uh, when I'm split between strategy games and thinking and and speaking out loud, the weirdest 
weirdest words come out sometimes. So you're gonna heal him now? No, grenade. You're like, ah, oh, jeez, that's a lot of damage. You're actually in at risk of, uh... He's at risk of almost hurting the boss. Oh, there's the heal. Back up to 300. Will that hit Mario? You don't have a you don't have a chance of uh, critting at all, do you? Hmm. That will hit Mario, actually. Oh, selecting. Who's it selecting? I don't want to hit you. You. So that will hit Mario too. Okay. I ended up in a weird territory just now. First of all, do you have double dash? You do not. All right. My insistence on focusing on the boss is quickly turning into a gargantuan mistake, basically. And uh, I'm gonna, at this point, pay the... At this point, I'm a little committed to it, but damn. I didn't realize how much the game was going to punish me in the process, and it's gone bad. I'll go for a hit on you. You're the one that's most likely to heal the boss next. So, she seems to be armored right now, so I guess if... Weird. So, if she uses her defensive skill, it, it, def it defends her allies and her. But she can only use it when an ally is nearby, even though it does work on her? Weird. Because it was like, no one's in range, and I'm like, yeah, I'm just trying to heal myself. It was like, yeah, but no one's in range. I'm like, that's not what I mean, though. Okay, I just got Peach in trouble. That, that was not entirely what I was going for. Can I hit him with the melee attack? That's interesting. I will die. I will die in the process, though, is the problem. I might be able to hit you with a melee attack and then hit the boss. What's your attack range? You can't reach him at all. I'm curious to see if I can get, if I can trick the game into letting me melee the boss. Basically, is what I'm going for. That'd be super ideal. I. I can't reach Rabid Luigi, but if I could, I could pound somebody, so maybe I should control Luigi, Rabid Luigi first. I can hit you. And then you. And then I can just kind of hang out over here, which should be safe. Yeah, it's great. You're healthy. I should have done something about how I was going to heal a Peach with that, though. That's the smarter plan. 40 damage dash means he'll still be alive afterwards, so I can then follow up. Otherwise, I could reach Rapid Luigi and Stomp. You're the one that would heal him next. But the can I then land next to you? Ah! Not close enough to actually be able to melee him, which is the goal. Made that sweet melee damage is so good. Can I jump onto you? I can, but then I, you would die, so I definitely can't melee you. So I guess this whole thing might be a bit of a bust, but he's gonna heal him next. I need to stop that. So maybe I should focus on that regardless. Yeah. I'm gonna commit to the melee over getting the hit. Did I just go into your range? Ah, oh, crap. I just screw that up. Okay, we're good. We're fine. Everything's fine. Just need to not overwatch him. Ah. We're not going to do 200 damage in one hit, so let's just get rid of the other one. Yeah. Except I should have used him on the boss because Rabbit Luigi does less damage and Rabbit Luigi can hit him. Ah. 
wow, I regret every action I ever take in this game. <laughs> like, immediately. <laughs> immediately, I'm like, oh no, that's this is the reason why that was a bad idea. That wasn't very nice. Alright, let's see if I can- if Peach can survive one turn. Oh, damn it. That really relied on her not getting shot by you. I'm gonna have to replay at this level to get the- to get everyone alive through it. Oh. I don't completely blame myself for everything, because it's- I was playing a character I've never played as before, and fighting a boss I've never fought before, so... There were steps in which the, my uh, plan was basically based on made-up nonsense, and then not knowing what was gonna happen. But damn it, I got so close. Assuming this is the ending. Are you still not over? Is it still not over? Do I just have to hit it like once or something? Oh, I can't land on it. Weird, why would I not be able to land on it? Okay, so let's just dash it, I guess? Is that what you want from me? We are honored to have you join us, your royal highness. May I suggest you return to your castle so we may prepare for our next match? That'd be... Peachy. Get it? Peachy? Oh, I screwed up. No. Ah. I'll come back and fix that at some point, just so I can get the, uh, the full reward, I suppose. That'll definitely be off-camera. That was a super long fight. <laughs> uh, doing a whole extra episode of that fight just because Peach got hit at the end would not be a good idea. Uh, Peach, she's kind, she's determined, she's ready for to fight. Hail to the princess. Customize her regally by accessing her skill tree. Team rank up. Your health's hero- your, t your hero's health is increased. Everybody, apparently. New weapons in stock. Now it's time to buy new stuff. Maybe. And then we get the 10 challenges. So it begins. You have lift. With this contextual action, you can upheave heavy rabbits <clears throat> statues you encounter along the way. That's- oh, we've seen those all over the place. I suppose the time has come then. 